My name is Paul Brazier and I work in the specialist monitoring team. As the intertidal ecologist, part of my role is to monitor the special areas of conservation around Wales. I'm based in Bangor but cover the whole of Wales where there's a coastline. Here in the Pentley Narsane Sack, which covers from Porth Incline in the north to Clarick in the south, is a particular value for its reefs and estuaries, its shallow inlets and bays, and the intertidal mudflats and sandflats. These are very broad descriptions of the features on the shore. I have to first identify those important bits within these larger features, for example the seagrass beds and the honeycomb reef worm and the estuarine sediment habitats. Right behind me here is an area of honeycomb reef worm which provides a whole variety of wet pools and gullies and overhangs which add to the biodiversity of the site here. I collect information on the wildlife, the species and habitats at specific locations where we revisit on a regular basis. But also we need to understand how the coastline and wildlife change. Natural events and human activities will change things like the sediment levels, influx of non-native animals or plants and there are various other activities that could cause damage such as trampling on the reef. I collect all sorts of information and uh, put that into databases. After detailed analysis I prepare reports on the state of these features and this gets reported through the UK into the European Directive. The animals and plants of the seashores are remarkably resilient and are able to survive storms, drying out and continual scouring by sand. But they're not always tough and when faced with repeated trampling or disturbance can be damaged or dislodged. So whilst enjoying the seashore it's really important to put the rocks back and to fill in big holes so the animals are not left exposed to birds or to dry out and die. And that way they're left there for another day for other curious visitors to come and see what's on the shore.